We're gonna try every single pumpkin spice food at Trader Joe's. Hey everybody! Hi! Hey. All right, y'all, I cannot wait any longer. We've got to dig into these cinnamon rolls. Pumpkin spiced cinnamon rolls. I didn't get any of that. I was about to uh, say, where's your frosting? Frosting is a must. The flavor is really good. It's really nutmeggy. That's what I was gonna say. There's it's like- almost tastes like eggnog. Okay, so to wash these down, are y'all um, enjoying a hot beverage? The Trader Joe's pumpkin spice coffee and tea. I'm drinking the tea. Two coffees and two teas. Cheers. I enjoy the coffee. It's not sweet. It's not overpowering. I agree because I don't always want to load up my coffee with a bunch of sugary creamers, but you still get some pumpkin fall flavors in here. How's the tea? It's okay. I'm just used to like very strong oversteeped tea. I really like it. It's yeah. not as heavily spiced as I thought it would be, which I like because I don't want to drink something that tastes like a candle. And this one I'm pretty sure is new to... The store this fall. It is a pumpkin spice protein smoothie. 11 grams of protein. This one um, I'm not excited about. And I'm not one to usually want a, a pumpkin flavored protein shake. Yeah, it tastes like when you make soup, but you haven't put any seasoning in it. <laughs> it just kind of tastes like milk. Moving on. Keeping with the breakfast theme, we're going to try the oatmeal next. This looks good to me. Pecan, pumpkin, oatmeal. I only have one pecan in my package of oatmeal and I feel really sad. I like this. I like this too because my favorite kind of oatmeal is like the maple spice and this is kind of like that. It's been but so it's long since I've had packaged oatmeal. This tastes delicious. Yeah. <laughs> it tastes like childhood. All right, so while well, y'all decide what we're going to taste next, I picked up something that I don't think y'all had available. It is the pumpkin and pancake waffle mix. So I made pancakes. I have that that I bought last year. It's so good. So this is a returning product. Must be that good. Yeah, I like this. I'm sorry y'all can't taste it, but I'm going to say thumbs up for the uh, pancake mix. Okay, what about the Pop-Tarts? I'm not one to warm up my Pop-Tarts. I don't know if y'all think differently. I did the exact pull. same way. I was that weird kid growing up and never warmed up the Pop-Tarts. I just never used my toaster. I do like to warm up the ones that are unfrosted, but these... We just eat straight out of the box. Okay. I did taste the Pop-Tart brand, pumpkin Pop-Tarts, and I kind of like them. They tasted like pumpkin pie. I kind of so, like this. Not good coverage. That's a party foul. I feel like this needs more filling. I'm not a huge fan of this. Annie, you love it, right? I stand alone on this, I guess. I am so pumped about yeah. this. I have never seen these, never heard of these, but... Pulling it out of the package, I was like, whoa. So they carry these year round with just like the regular like cream cheese Danish flavor, but I think they have raspberry and. You know what it kind of reminds me of? King cake? Oh yeah. In my house, we eat Kringles for um, Christmas day every year. So I love Kringles. I see why this is the best seller. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, oatmeal, you've been replaced. I feel like I shouldn't have eaten the entire piece that I just cut off and I already want to go back for another one. It was so good. Hey, another breakfast. I don't know that y'all got this either, did you? Trader Joe's pumpkin bread and muffin mix. Okay, I did, but I'm glad you made muffins. Okay, did you I made bread with mine. Please ignore how thick I cut these slices. <laughs> yeah, I'm like over here applauding it. This is great. It forms a really nice crust on the outside. Is that what happened to the muffins too? No, I probably would prefer the bread over the muffin, but I thought these would cook faster and they do. You guys, I need something salty. So can we go ahead and bust into the tortilla chips? Please. And I hope they're salty. They smell like regular tortilla chips. I'm so glad that they're salty and not covered in sugar. They just kind of taste like a tortilla chip, but maybe with the salsa, it'll be like the perfect little pairing to bring out its pumpkinness. Okay, we're gonna try the fall harvest salsa with it. I don't think I want my salsa to taste like a fall harvest. Okay, so let's see what's whipped up in here. Tomate, pumpkin is the main ingredient, tomatoes, tomatillo. Okay, on the second bite, I'm warming up to the salsa. It's chunky. It's weird. I don't mind it. I haven't had a bite I don't like yet. These are pumpkin cranberry crisps. Okay, so these look like those crackers that are like super expensive. What is that weird? Flavor. I get a little taste of the rosemary, which at first I liked, but now I'm just like, I feel like that's playing into this cleaning product vibe I'm getting. A, a little soapy. I agree. It's the dried rosemary that's getting me hints of Christmas tree needles. Thumbs up or down? I say, this is the pumpkin bisque. I have high hopes for this as well. 
Red <laughs> tart. But I don't hate it. I feel like I would want to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of like heavy cream. Agree 100%. Pumpkin JoJo's are the Trader Joe's version of Oreos. They come in all different flavors. I hate real Oreos and I will probably not love these. Okay, so this does have that artificially pumpkin uh, like smell, like the one that is like the candle. Okay, that frosting is the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth. I'm so sorry, but that's gross. No, you don't like frosting though, normally. I don't like frosting and I'm weird and I'm being rude and I'm sorry, but I don't like that. I think it has a good amount of cream filling in the center. These I'm excited about. I definitely like them better than the sandwich cookies. I wouldn't eat these as a grown up, but I think that children might like them. I don't love the way, the way these smell. The smell is a lot more intense than the taste. Super crunchy. For a store bought biscotti, that's not bad. It's kind of pretty. You got your pumpkin seeds on one side and then your little granola at the bottom. Requires a lot of chewing. It's very dry. Probably wouldn't buy it. If you want a real delicious homemade granola recipe, click below. And I'm so excited about this brioche. It's got the cinnamon swirls in there. The color of this brioche is like super yellowish orange. So we're going to taste the Trader Joe's pumpkin butter, but we're going to taste it on the brioche. Yeah, I'm just going to taste it pure. That tastes like pumpkin pie flavored apple butter, which is a great thing. It's a little bit thinner than I expected. And a little bit sweeter. I think I prefer apple butter to the pumpkin butter. I think I agree. Okay, so I'm going to do spicy pumpkin curry simmer sauce. So I've heated it up and I'm just going to pour it over some rice. It's not pumpkin spiced curry. It's spicy pumpkin curry, which will make all the difference. It's sweet right when it hits your tongue, but the heat hits you right after. A plus. We forgot one. Are these supposed to be sweet or savory? Yeah, they're definitely sweet. They feel crunchy. Like they have a coating. Damn, those are delicious. They're almost like candied nuts. I would like these on a salad. Ooh, I like that. I think that Trader Joe's is known as the pumpkin spice place for a reason. Um, they do it big, bigger than anybody else. By and large, nothing that we tried here is so in your face, like aggressively pumpkin spice. I think they do it very, very gracefully and thoughtfully. So good job, Trader Joe's. I think I speak for the rest of us when I say we are pumpkined out for this season and maybe even next. Till next year, for more taste tests like this, don't forget to follow my recipes on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. See ya. Bye. Bye.